Hi guys, this is Chef T of Tomorrow's Kitchen coming to you from the beautiful kitchen at the Sacramento Natural Foods Co-op in Midtown Sacramento. This is your Harvest of the Month video sponsored by the Health Education Council. This month's produce item is salad greens and today we're making a green and red salad. Salad greens are vegetables that are grown for their leaves and their leaves are used in salads. They're commonly referred to as simply greens but it, but it includes such things as a variety of red and green leaf lettuces, your iceberg or crisp head lettuce, romaine, dandelion greens, some turnip greens, beet greens. All of those are classified as greens and can be used in salads. One of the most popular types of salad greens is lettuce. And it is said that Americans eat about 30 pounds of lettuce per year. So if you break it down, lettuce comes in a case about this big, and that means the average American eats at least one whole case of lettuce per year. And um, for our salad today, we're gonna use a variety of mixed baby greens, and they call them baby greens. If you look at your mixture, you have baby spinach leaves, you have some tops of red leaf lettuce. There's some escarole in here, a little bit of frisé, and you know, all kinds of lettuce. And the thing to remember is your salad greens should not be bitter. If you're getting salad greens and they're bitter, that means that they're too old, too young, or they're the type of greens that you may need to cook. When I make my salads, I usually use a mixture of the baby greens because they're nice and soft. And I mix them with a harder lettuce like a romaine or a crisp head so it gives your salad some body. So today we're gonna to make a green and red salad and it's a relatively easy salad and this is one that the kids can help you with. So what we're gonna start with, we're gonna put our salad greens in the bowl And we're simply going to mix them with two cups of sliced strawberries. What you want is enough strawberries in there so the colors are dispersed throughout. And so you get a nice pretty mixture of the bright green and the red and it's a contrast against the red leaf lettuce. Okay, so we're going to let that set for a minute while we make the dressing. Now this is where the kids get to have fun because this is actually what they call a dressing in a jar. So what we're going to do, we're going to get a Tupperware container with a tight fitting lid, or you could use a old like mayonnaise jar, relish jar, anything that has a tight fitting lid and will fit the amount of dressing you're using. Um, you're going to take, in that you're going to put a half a cup of orange juice. You're going to put a tablespoon and a half of either strawberry or raspberry jam or preserves. You want to use jam or preserves because they're a little more body than the jelly and it'll actually disperse better throughout your project product. And you need a spoon and a half of, a teaspoon and a half of olive oil. And you're going to put it in a container, give it to the kids and just let them shake it. See, all they're doing is shaking it to combine the colors. If you look at it, see how the jelly is dispersing and it's all turning red inside, it's turning the orange juice red. And so all you're gonna do, let them shake it until the jam is um, broken down. Then you're just gonna merely take your dressing, drizzle it over your salad, use tongs to stir your salad up, you want to be careful when you stir because what you don't want to do is break up all the strawberries. And you're just stirring it or tossing it slightly with tongs until all the lettuce is moist. Okay? Now let's show you what it looks like on a plate. Let's go ahead and plate a little bit of this up for you.
Okay, this is what your salad will look like upon completion. And from there, you just wanna take it to give it a little extra, extra texture, add a few sliced almonds. And this is your green and red salad. Once again, this is your Harvest of the Month presentation. The topic is salad greens. And it's brought to you by the Health Education Council, as well as the Sacramento Natural Foods Co-op. I'm Chef T of Tomorrow's Kitchen. Enjoy your harvest.